Two of the following videos go. are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's begin. This is a long skinny tube of copper. Copper is not ferromagnetic, so this magnet won't stick to it. However, dropping the magnet through the tube results in it falling much slower. That's true. Copper is a great electrical conductor. And that following magnet has a changing magnetic field, which induces eddy currents and magnets supply the brakes. Similar eddy current braking is used in neutron monitors in a nuclear power plant. And inductive sensors also track control rod position. <laughs> this device is cleverly designed to allow the ball to continuously cycle. As the ball falls and is redirected, it has just enough energy to return to its original height, meaning it successfully clears the lip and can fall all over again. This all right, there's batteries or something in there because this violates the first law of thermodynamics, if that's all it is. You need energy input. Friction will cause losses. So hidden battery is my guess. It's a bit like saying your nuclear reactor can run without replenishing fuel. It can't. This mini tabletop and table bottom are only connected by a few pieces of string, but it can still support the weight of this large roll of duct tape. You know sure, there's tensional integrity. The weight's balanced by pretension strings. After all, in nuclear power plants, components are often tensioned under dynamic loads, such as the suspended core internals during a refueling out. All three videos now, pause to vote fake. in the comments which one you thought was fake. This video was fake. What is this it? device does not work on its own. It's actually battery, battery. powered, but I the button it. is discreet. When the power is turned off, the magnetic ball does not receive the boost of energy needed to get back to the start. Have to obey your laws of thermodynamics.